Hey guys, and welcome to another Blueprint event. This time it's Vans, Vans, Vans. And here's the Scarecrow. As you probably can guess, um, this is about Vans. Oh my god. It's a road racing circuit, A800 Vans and Util, Summer, Sunset, Fog. Uh, three laps, 7.1 km per lap, 21.3 km total, race time around 2 minutes 40 seconds per lap roughly 8 minutes total something like that no that can't be right 9 minutes total it has to be at least no wait that's not right either oh well don't know what what those numbers are well never mind uh but let's try and maybe i should be using this because it's faster but this I don't think I've ever used this in a race. I do like the paint job though. Acme explosives. And of course the AI is going to bring their pursuit crappy cars. Uh, these are my settings. And... Yeah. Oh, and the Ford Transit, so that's going to be the car to beat, I will bet. Anyway, here goes. This is kind of a silly car, because no matter how much power you give it, it is not, doesn't have a top speed. It's almost slower than the Jaguar I-Pace. Well, it is actually slower than the I-Pace, kind of. At least in the tune I got uh, made on the iPace last night. But apart from that, I have no idea what the iPace is for. I tried tuning it for road racing, useless. Uh, dirt racing, useless. Uh, so, cross country, useless. Drag racing, useless. So, yeah, it's just ridiculous. But hey, let's add useless cars to the game. So it looks like we're adding new brilliant stuff all the time. And most of it is completely useless crap. Let's do that rather than fix, uh, fix some bugs. Because who wants that? Oh, and I haven't even... Hang on, let me get this corner here. Haven't even shown you the track. Damn. So you start here. And go up along the coast. And squiggly bit, squiggly bit, squiggly bit, squiggly bit, squiggly bit. Back to the start line. That's basically it. No tough speed and not really a lot of grip. But it is fun, and fun is very important. And I cannot remember this track at all. So, yeah. I'm suspecting there will be some crashes and some rewinds and some yelling and some... As you can see, I've used all the small roads available. Look at that top speed, it's just ridiculous. Ooh, 240! Well, looking at the condition of the car, 240 is actually pretty good.
My grandfather actually had one of these uh, when I was a kid, many, many, many moons ago. Uh, that would not do 240. That would do ooh, maybe 24. It was ridiculous. Uh, and yeah, but I think it was cheap. Same thing twice when I made the track. But yeah, if I was going to do. Uh, tune a car for this track for say a trial or something I would probably uh, choose the El Camino it, it is the fastest for this certainly not this one this is many things the fastest new Kind of fun to to get to drive, you know, some of the cars that you, I would never use uh, normally in a video. And I mean, some of these the cars I've been using lately, I haven't I've never tuned them before uh, for this event. I don't for the event that I'm recording, like this one. I would never ever use this in an event like this. But uh, so it's kind of fun actually get to tune to tune it. Remember the corner there. Actually, not far off. Eight minutes. It's going to be very close, I think. Hmm. So, I was right. Eight minutes. Two minutes, four, and three laps. Yeah, why doesn't eight minutes sound right? I'm a moron. Sorry. Anyway, there you are. Let's see. So, the car I was using was the 1966 Volkswagen Double Cap Pickup. And the tune I was using was this one. There you go. 
And remember, if you use one of my tunes or one of my tracks, shut up, Forsathon. Nobody cares. Uh, please remember to like them, and the same goes for the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.